This AI-powered note-taking app is self-organizing and could solve all your problems in one place. And the best part, it is completely free and open source. Hey everyone, welcome back to SkillCurb. Here at SkillCurb, we post daily videos on new cutting-edge technologies. Today, we're going to be talking about Rior, a self-organizing AI-powered note-taking app, which could do pretty much everything that the premium and quite expensive tools would do. And it is completely open source, and you can download its setup from their website or clone their GitHub repository, unless you attach local LLMs, or you can attach remote LLMs as well. As well as, you can integrate OpenAI's API directly. It gives a chat where you can actually ask questions about your notes and it would come through all your nodes and generate answers which really make sense. Its capability to generate these concise answers is the most powerful feature and this could boost up your productivity up to a thousand x. In this video, we are going to install it through the setup as well as the command line manual install and then go through all the features and have a look into its interface and in the end we will be using its best feature and asking questions to the chatbot and see how precise and concise it gets. So without further chatter, let's get started. All right, so to get things started, we will need Rior installed locally on our computer. So for that, we can either use their website and download their setup, or we can go to their GitHub and download it using command line and cloning their GitHub repository. But in this video, I'm gonna show you both of these ways because this video is a deep dive into Rior. So first off, we're gonna download the setup. For that, just click on this download and choose your operating system. Once you do that, it will start downloading. Now, let it download and let's move to the github repository from where we can actually download it using command line so this is their github repository the your project if you scroll down you will see that there are a few commands that you can use in your command line and run your real project i'm going to copy this command here which will clone the real project and i'm going to go to my vs code or your preferred editor and i'm going to clone this into that folder so here on my vs code I'm going to open up the terminal just like that and I'm going to paste in what I just copied and hit enter. So the project has been cloned. Now what we need to do is we have to go to the folder where the actual project is. So for that we'll be using CD Rior and we're inside Rior now. Next up we'll need to install all the packages. For that we can use this command here npm install and this will install all the packages that are in the packet.json file and it will install all the node modules as well. So hit enter. All right, so all the node modules and the packages have been downloaded. As you can see, if you open your Rior folder, there are tons of files as well as the node modules folder. Now your project is all set up. What you can do now is you can run this project in developer mode or you can make a build of this project and deploy it as it is open source. So you can do pretty much anything with it without restriction. But for this video, we're just going to run it locally, not going to deploy it. So we won't be doing the build part, but let's go and actually run it with npm run dev and now your project is running on localhost so this was how you can install it using your command line now actually go and install it using the setup that we just downloaded the setup install is pretty much typical all you have to do is select a few options and just click next so first question it asks if you want to install it for just this user or anyone on this computer so i'm just going to go with this user and just hit next and then you can choose your directory where you want to install rear and install i've already done that so i'm not going to actually install it again but yeah that was as simple as it could get so that's how you can install it once it is installed into your computer what you can do is you can open up your rear it would look something like this as i have already added a few nodes so that's why it shows like this but i will let you know how you can actually set up your new rear project so for that, let's go and click on this plus icon. This will pop up a new window. Here you can select the directory where you want your notes to be. So let's say I've selected this workout folder for myself. And then you can select the embedding model, which by default is Zenova, which is really great. Then you can select any LLM that you have locally installed, or you can attach a remote LLM. For that, you will need the API key and the API endpoint. So it looks something like this. You have to add the API URL, the model name, and the API key. And that's it. Just hit save and it will be there. And then you can connect to OpenAI as well. 
For this, you will need only the API key. And in the bottom, you can see all the models that you have added already. So I'm going to go with the ChatGPT4 preview because I really like this one. And if you click on connect to OpenAI, it will pop up this box here where you can actually put in your OpenAI's API key and it will connect you directly with OpenAI. I'm not going to go and add an API key here because I've already added it and I don't want to disclose my API key as well. And I hope you guys can do it. Just paste in the API key and you're all set. So once you're done doing that, just click on next and it will create a new window for you guys. All right, so back to our window, let's discuss the interface of this app. So this app has five sections. One is going to be the chat where you can talk with the OpenAI and ask questions about your notes. So you can toggle the chat by clicking here. The second part is going to be the related notes. Whatever is related to the note that you're working on right now will show in this section here. And you can toggle this as well by clicking here. So this part is the actual note where you can type and add it to your note. And this here here is the list of notes that you have already added into this app. Next up, we have the search. Here you can search anything from your notes. And here you can create a new note, which is really simple. Just name the note and just put in the information there. And for the sake of demonstration, let me just create another note here. So just day one would be something like this. As soon as I paste it here, you can see that the related notes all pop up whatever is related to this note here. So that is really amazing. And this app is completely open source. You don't have to pay a single penny and you can do pretty much whatever you want with this app. Like you don't want to go to Obsidian and other paid tools. You can do all those things right in here for free. Next up, we have this option here, which can create a new directory into your notes. So you can use that if you want to organize your notes. Then if we go down, we have already used this plus button here. But if we go to the settings button, we can see that here we can choose our LLM. We can add a new LLM. We can change the context length settings and we can add a remote LLM setup or the open AI setup. Then there is the embedding model, which is Zenova by default. That's pretty much everything. And this rag setting, it means that how many nodes it will take in consideration while you're in the Q&A section, like when you are asking in the chat, how many nodes should it take in consideration? You can change this option up to 30 nodes. For now, it is set to 15 by default. That's pretty much the whole walkthrough of this app. And one thing that I forgot to showcase is this chat board. If you want to ask this chat board any question related to your notes, it would give you a very concise and a very authentic answer. Let's actually try this out. I'm going to ask it how I can strengthen my thighs at as soon as I click on ask, it will go and find references in my notes and then use the OpenAI's API key to actually make sense through that notes and give me a very valid and working answer. So let's click on ask and there you go. It has already started reading it. It says to strengthen your thighs, focus on exercises that target the muscles of your thighs. And there you go. All the exercises like squats, lunges, leg press, deadlifts, and there's hamstring curls, glute bridges. So it has given us everything from the notes. It gone through the notes and gave us a very precise answer to what we are actually looking for. This is really powerful. You can actually comb through your notes, create really, really precise and concise answers. And this will boost up your productivity to a thousand X. I mean, I really love this tool and I'm going to personally use this one. It is completely mind blowing. And the best part is it is completely open source. So you can do pretty much anything with it. Your project is really amazing. And as it is stated here, self-organizing, it is really self-organizing. It can organize your notes and it can do a lot with your notes as we have gone through it. And you already had first-hand experience of this powerful tool. So that was your a self-organizing note-taking app for you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to SkillCube for more content on cutting-edge technologies. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we continue to curb your skills using the latest tech. Stay curious and keep exploring.